Hi, my name is Claire Black, and today I'm going to be uh, interviewing Amy Maddox here about uh, how she managed her budget as an athletic trainer. So, Amy, can you describe to me what your job description was? I was a certified athletic trainer for both Lafayette High School for five years and then Newport High School for one year when I lived in Kentucky. All right, and during that time, who was responsible for making the budget? I was in charge of the athletic training budget. Everyone else was in charge of their own snippets, but anything athletic training at those schools, I was, I guess, the head honcho of. Okay, and while you were making your budget, did you have to report to anybody? I would have to report to the school systems. Every year they would tell me how much of a budget I would have, and then it was from that point that once I knew that I needed something, I would go to them and ask for the money that they distributed to me. Okay. Um, how often was the budget revised? Again, it was supposed to be an annual budget, but things switched from time to time. So we might have learned that our sum started out as a certain thing mm -hmm. at the beginning, but throughout the year people would need certain things and budgets might vary. So it should have been annual, but could be monthly. Alright. Um, and did you plan it? Um, you know, kind of in general, like, you know, including all the sports, kind of lumping them together, or did you, you know, specifically go through the budget and plan it sport to sport? They had done that years before at Lafayette High, where it used to be sport by sport, but what they saw was that some sports didn't have as much budget. Okay. So softball might be out of tape a lot sooner than football. So by the time I got there, we put them all together so that way all the athletes had access to everything. And it was just a lot easier from an athletic training perspective because I didn't have 20 boxes of tape that was labeled football and five for softball and these golf pads can only be for wrestling. It was a whole lot easier where you could just grab and go. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, and now what were some of the components that went into planning your budget? Some of the components to plan the budget? Yeah. Like, what did you, when you planned it, what did you have to, you know, take into consideration and, like, what steps did you use? Okay. So, what happened, first of all, is that I would get my lovely, lovely student aides to help me by doing the inventory. Because we all love doing an inventory yeah. each and every six months. When we saw that we were low on something or we really needed something, I would do a needs assessment from that inventory. Okay. Since we had a lump sum budget, where basically they just kind of gave us the money and said, here, have fun, do with it what you will. I would go and I would start bidding out to different places. So for athletic training, we looked through Medco, Kramer, Alert, so that way we could get the exact same materials for as cheap as possible. Mm -hmm. Once I did the negotiations, I would go and do a purchase request from the school board, so that way the school board could see here was my negotiations, here's how much it would cost, and they would then approve it. So it might take two to four weeks to approve, depending on when the school board met again. Mm -hmm. But once I got that purchase order, I would go in turn, go to that company, and then say, hey, can we please order this? Once it was reship, shipped and received, we had to go through and highlight and make sure that we got everything. Yeah then the school and the school board would then write them a check. So that way we make sure we got everything that we paid for. Okay. Well, I think that's it and thank you for your time. No problem.